Plants dominate the landscape and they play an integral role in all aspects of life on the planet. They influence the climate, provide nutrition and medicinal compounds, numerous byproducts that are used in human and animal populations. They evolved about 500 million years ago from primitive algae. There are more than 300,000 species of plants present currently, and most of them are photoautotrophs, which mean they can provide energy through photosynthesis. Many groups of plants have adapted to the environment for extreme heat and cold conditions. There are seed plants, vascular plants, land plants, and plants with complex leaves. Example, stomatas are tiny opening across the backside of leaves and controls water leaving the cell. For plants living in hot condition, there is a waterproof lipid layer, a cuticle that prevents dryness. Some plants, mainly woody plants, have a more complex organic molecule called as lignin. It provides tissue support to the cell. Another adaptation seen only in vascular plants are the presence of xylem and phloem transport mechanisms. In plants, there is a fluctuation between the multicellular haploid plant structure called as the gametophyte, which is formed from the spore and give rise to haploid gametes. The spores are the diploid stage. The relationship between the sporophyte and the gametophyte varies among different groups of plants. As plants evolve to higher level, the gametophyte generation has been reduced at a microscopic level. So simple algae have a more prominent gametophyte generation visible to the naked eye. Land plants are classified in two major groups according to the presence or absence of vascular tissue. Plants that lack vascular tissue are referred as non-vascular plants. Examples, bryophytes, liverworts, mosses, and hornworts. Vascular plants include seedless and seed plants. Vascular tissue is composed of xylem that transports water and phloem that transports nutrients within the cell. Non-vascular plants have specialized cells that help to transport water and nutrients. Bryophytes are green seedless plants and considered as lower level of land plants. They include mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. The gametophyte stage is more prominent, where sperm cells can reach the egg cell through water. Hence, many bryophytes are present near water areas such as lakes and swamps. Liverworts usually colonize the land and have shapes that resemble the lobes of the liver, hence given the name liverworts. The hornwort is a short blue-green gametophyte that emerges from the sporophyte. Ferns and wisp ferns are characterized from larger leaves and branching roots. Mosses usually inhabit tundras and tropical frost. They prevent soil erosion, store moisture, and provide shelter to small animals. Hence, here is an example of a feathery moss. The seed-bearing vascular plants are divided into major groups. 
gymnosperms that have open seeds and angiosperms with closed seeds. The gymnosperms were the first plants to colonize the land and resemble the modern day plants. Gymnosperms are naked seeds, diverse group of seed plants and the descent from a single common ancestor. They have separate female and male gametes pollinated by winds and insects. These include the conifers, which are the pine trees, the cycads, which also bear larger cones and can be pollinated by beetles. They also include the ginkgo tree, which has fan-shaped leaves, very unique to seed plants. They do not have ovaries, however, ovules that release egg are present in female cones. The angiosperms are the flowering plants. They form a beautiful landscape and are pollinated with birds, bees, bats, and other animals. There are two main classes, monocots such as lily and grassy plants and dicots which are plants that have woody branches. Most flowering plants have a reduced gametophyte stage the gametes are the pollen and eggs and are confined to the sexual part of the plants, which are the flowers. The flowers carry both male and female organ. The diagram shows the life cycle of a flowering plant where you can see the pollen grains and the embryo sac. They undergo double fertilization, a unique process to angiosperms. Double fertilization is a complex fertilization mechanism of flowering plants where the haploid sperm combines with the haploid egg to form a zygote. Another sperm fuses with two polar nuclei to form an endosperm, which provides nutrition to the zygote. In this chart, you can see the diversity of the angiosperms. Monocots have one small cotyledon, such as corn seeds. Bean seeds can split into two parts, hence are considered to be dicots. Monocots are parallel leaves, such as tulips, corn, and grass. Dicots, on the other hand, have branched leaves. Another difference between monocots and dicots are the number of flower parts.